We finally arrived in Ira. No matter how many times I come here, these walls are still a marvel to look at. It's just as I remember them as well. Probably the only thing that survived the Rune Wars. It's held strong for thousands of years. I can imagine it'll stand for another thousand. King's Road seems a lot more crowded than I remember. Ah yes! Crownport has recently expanded to double its size. More trade ships have been coming in as a result. Really? I never figured Aero would try to compete with Aquila's trade fleet. They're not. Well, the trade is welcome. The increased capacity was to improve shipbuilding. They're planning to start a new expedition. You mean beyond Nicosa? It's never been successful for decades. What prompted that? Rumor has it some big mage family is spearheading the project. The High Prince was probably struck with curiosity or the promise of fortune. Whatever the reason, they've already started commissions for an armored fleet. Huh. That's news to me. Anything else I should know about? Aside from the odd Zirani getting more aggressive, rumors of vampire attacks, and a recently discovered elven relic, everything else is business as usual. Well, that's comforting. I think. All things considered, it could be worse. Ah, here. Give me a moment to settle my shipments here, and we can continue on to Aira. Already? You're not spending the night to rest? Time is money if I can help it. Besides, I prefer to sleep under the stars. Can't argue with that. I'll see you in a while then. So much has changed over the past years. I've been cooped up in my home for so long I almost forgot what the outside world looks like. I should have gone to Actima sooner. I was too stubborn to even consider it. There's no telling if my old contact will even help, but it's better than nothing. Better than struggling alone in my workshop. I'm back. I hope you did not wait too long. Don't worry about it. Patience is Probably one of my best skills. A rare skill indeed. Now then, let's continue on. There's still a lot of ground to cover. Ah, welcome to the lore corner. The, the lorner? Anyway, this is the section where I discuss a little more detail about things that would otherwise be too, um, wordy in normal conversation. It's sort of like supplementary info, basically. So let's talk about Ira a little bit more. Ira is the first human civilization in Icosa, although very young when compared to the other races. Its main religion centers around a divine figure called the All King, who is believed to create the world from clay and breath. On the final day of his creation, he ascended to the heavens to watch the world grow, with the hope that he would return and take his place on the great throne, creating an eternal rule of peace. As such, Ira's highest ruling body is called the High Prince, out of reverence. The title is actually archaic, as becoming a High Prince no longer requires noble blood or being male. Since the end of the Rune Wars and the fall of Mad Prince Mordric IV, the royal bloodline ended and the High Prince became an elected position, based on merits. Ira has ruled in relative peace ever since. Another thing I want to briefly discuss is the Ard Zerani, a cult-like group of doomsayers born from dwarves who don't quite like the dragons. They believe that Dragonkind will one day reawaken to their bloodline and destroy the world in a reign of Dragonflame. Most dwarves, of course, dismiss this as rambling over interpretation because, well, dragon blood is actually thinning out as generations pass. But if they're getting more influential like what Drock says, this might be a problem that needs to be addressed sooner rather than later. Anyway, this should cover most of the background stuff. We're leaving for Aira and drawing closer to Akima. So I'll see you there.